welcome back to my channel naturally chill pill and today I'll be showing you an everyday makeup tutorial super fly and super flawless so let's go ahead and get started the first thing that I use is a primer I use the Becca ever matte poreless priming perfecter so I do have oily skin and I apply this pretty much in the areas where I'm oily but I pretty much apply it everywhere because I feel like I get oily everywhere so this primer is pretty much amazing. I've been using it for a while now and it has not um, gave up on me. So next I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Ebony and I mix that with my Super Stay Foundation by Maybelline in Truffle. And basically the Ebony one is a little too dark and the Truffle is a little too light and a little too gray on my skin complexion so mixing these two together creates the perfect concoction to me so for me to blend that all out I use my brush my real techniques brush I think this is the face brush it don't have numbers but it's pretty much kind of like a roundish flat ish top I don't know but it's like the whole face type of brush <laughs> I hope I'm describing it well but it's by real techniques Alright, so next I use my favorite concealer by Maybelline. I use Deep and Cafe, but for some reason Cafe is darker than Deep. Deep is a little lighter, so Cafe is what I'm putting on now. And then on top of that, I'm going to put Deep, which is, which is a little lighter. But this concealer, y'all, literally stays all day. This never does me wrong by Maybelline. Maybelline is really on it so I really love these concealers and I basically put that under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on top of my forehead, above my lip and on my chin which basically where the light hits the most is where I make sure I bring out that brightness even more. So I pretty much put it in all those areas. The next thing I like to do is make sure I set my concealer by using the Beauty Bakery uh, Flower Powder in yellow. And I put this in all the areas where I put the concealer to make sure they do not budge. As you can see, I'm, I don't play no games. I just go ahead and put it on there. It really looks like I put on a lot looking back at this, but I really didn't. I just make sure that I don't have no smile line showing, making sure that nothing doesn't crease or anything and this flower of this this flower this powder really does help set my um, concealers and stuff and it'd be hot y'all I wore this outside I went out with my friends and I'm from Mississippi so if this works in Mississippi I'm pretty sure it can work across the world so this is one of my favorite powders the next thing I do are my eyebrows so my eyebrows are already thick so it's really not that much that I just do drastically but I do make sure that it looks crisp and clean and, you know, a little more presentable. So I use the Goof Proof Brow, brow Pencil by Benefit. That is very hard to say. And I use it in number six. My eyebrows are obviously very dark. So I make sure I use a really, really dark brown or black. And if I use black, I use a very light hand so it won't look like it's just a brow. Then another brow, you know. So yeah, I just fill in my eyebrows. that I conceal under my eyebrows using a flat top round brush I got this brush so long ago so I don't even really know what kind of brush this is or the brand but I just um, fill it in from the bottom so it can give me that highlight effect and I just bring the remaining of the product down just like you see here the key to flawless makeup is making sure that you blend everything so right now I'm just blending everything using my real techniques sponge and I'm using my elf blush brush either is the blush or the face brush I don't know but I'm making sure that I blend everything and take off the excess powder next I use the true complexion cream contour palette medium to dark 
from Black Radiance. And I basically mix the darkest color and the sculpt color. To me, that just creates the most natural contour for me. And I start from the beginning of, well, the tip of my ear all the way down to where pretty much where the arch of my eyebrow is, is where I stop because I want to bring it all the way down to the corner of my mouth. That would be kind of weird. So I put that on where my cheeks are, on the side, the bridges of my nose, on the, I mean on the sides of my nose, on my forehead, and also under my jawline to just make sure everything is blended. Again, I would use a face brush and just blend it all together. So before I officially finish my face, I'm going to spray it with using the NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Spray. Before I put on my Magnificent Highlighter by Milani, and this one is in strobe light in number four. So basically, I like to spray my face before I do this because it just adds a more of a glow from within, a natural glow. And it really just sinks into the foundation, into the powders and everything. And yeah, it just pretty much looks really, really good all together. So I put that on my cheeks, I put that on the bridge of my nose, and I like to do a little L shape. So when I turn, you're just gonna see just glow, just glow. And I put it pretty much everywhere of those areas. And then of course you gotta make sure you blend everything. So I blend it with my Real Technique sponge and you know, I'm just adding a little more glow. Just go crazy with the glow. And then finally, I spray my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter, which is absolutely amazing, of course. And then finally, I use my Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. And as you can see, my eyelashes are pretty much popping right now they look so thick they look so full they look just ready to go so we're officially not finished with the glow so i'm putting it in um at the arch of my eyebrows and as well as my inner tear ducts to add some more of that golden glow we're adding glow everywhere and finally i'm going to apply some lip gloss because this is just a regular day and this is the nyx butter lip gloss in orange I don't really know where, I, I've looked for this and I don't think they have it anymore, but yeah, I'm just putting it on and it looks pretty cool. Last but not least, I'm going to use my Beauty Bakery Coffee and coffee and Cocoa Palette, excuse me, and I'm using the color La Vida Mocha and it's a very pretty pink sparkly gold color. It's so pretty and the combo with this highlighter is literally life. And again, this is the mix with the Milani and the Beauty Bakery Coffee and Cocoa in La Vida Mocha. And it's, I'm just shook. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And see you all in the next one. Bye.